I think I'm just going to sit naked in this barn in a chair by myself for a while and absorb what has just taken place. This is a one in a million barn find. I mean, I can die tomorrow and I'll die a happy man. I just want them to get here. I'm just waiting on the cars to get delivered. This is, this is insanity. It would have taken me years to finish the collection like this. I mean, this is primo stuff. You're not gonna get better stuff. I'm not gonna get better stuff than this. I mean, unless you got the Lamborghini Countach that was in the Wolf of Wall Street movie, or I mean, just some crazy movie cars. This is, I, I could just, I don't know what I'm going to do anymore. I'm kind of disappointed because I have nothing to live for anymore because I'm in shock. When I was going to build this barn, when I had a vision of building this barn and the studio and the shop and all this, I was like, we're going to have some cool cars. We're going to do this for that. But this is crazy because it just like just topped it all off and I can't do any better. How the hell am I going to do any better than this? I don't know. I'm, we have a million dollar car at the auction tomorrow, an 09 Ford GT. But I like this stuff better. Because this is the stuff I grew up on. I mean, a short bed, 66 Chevy truck. There weren't many short beds with plastic in the seats. I mean, this is goofy. Man. Something's wrong with these people and something's wrong with me. Something's wrong with this whole deal. Because this, you, something's wrong with this whole deal because this doesn't make sense. It's like I got hit in the head with a bunch of horseshoes or something. I don't know. We have found the Holy Grail. And thank goodness we have the personalities of the Monty Python guys and we'll make this fun. But we're fixing to take you through a car time warp that makes no sense to me and I think it'll make no sense to you. So I would stay tuned.